Goodbyes are already underway for contract workers facing illegal status if they do not leave within 10 days after expiration of their CW1 status. KSPN has learned 46 Best Sunshine Casino workers are leaving the Commonwealth this week alone. We were on scene at the Saipan International Airport early Wednesday morning as some of the BSI employees checked into a Jeju Air flight. Last minute hugs from friends as one best Sunshine Casino employee takes steps towards security at the Saipan International Airport in the wee hours of Wednesday morning. This employee is just one in a batch of BSI employees heading back to the Philippines after they reach the expiration of their statuses. I'm just sad. Yeah? Because I have to leave. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could stay, but that's what you have to do. Patricia Garcia got to Saipan last year to be closer to her mom, who works here on the island at a beauty salon. She had to stop working on June 5th at the casino, and now her family is concerned about paying all the bills as she leaves to go back to the Philippines. My mom is here, and my family there is uh, my dad and my aunt and uncle. Her mom, Mercy, had to say goodbye to her daughter on Wednesday morning. Because my daughter is leaving, of course, I'm so depressed. We don't know yet when they're coming back. We, we're not sure yet. So hopefully they can come back soon. But one casino employee says he's not too concerned about having to leave the Commonwealth at this time. For me, as long as we're going to be working again, as long as I can work, doesn't matter. The employees tell us they have received an assurance from Best Sunshine they will be rehired in the coming months. In a statement released to KSPN, Best Sunshine's legal counsel Viola Elepuzo states, quote, We have assured each of our contract workers that they have a job guaranteed with our company. We have petitioned the USCIS for them already with a start date of after October 1, 2016. As long as all the necessary approvals are in place, they will be working for us again, end quote. A wholesale company says the contract worker cap crisis is directly impacting their business if something is not done soon. One assistant manager says if his employee statuses expire, they will be unable to deliver to major hotels and establishments, impacting the tourism economy. Just one business of many worried about the immediate future. We contribute to the contribute to CNMI government, mm -hmm. and that they have to know we pay plenty tax. If without tax and without the money, they also cannot operate their, their, their government also. Assistant manager of H Mart Wholesale in San Antonio, Ellie Kong, says seven of his 16 employees' contract worker statuses will expire soon in the next month or two, almost half of his staff. Our important workers already now suffer from the hard time because of, because of leasing the CW visa. If he loses his employees, Kong says the H Mart Wholesale will not be able to fulfill all their deliveries of rice and flour and other items to the hotels, restaurants and stores. Nowadays, many, many workers uh, who, who will be affected to leave because of reaching CW cap, so this time. So they actually, they want to get uh, even instant relief from the government, but nowadays, Actually, our, whole, uh, our wholesale is actually distrib distributed to hotels in the very important, very most, most famous hotels and uh, restaurants and uh, the stores. We distribute to them the goods. His employees are from Korea, China, and the Philippines. They have actually four kids, two kids, they have plenty of kids, but actually, you know, this time very hard, and then if they cannot get uh, any instant relief or the